Hey there, this is Rick. I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to try to turn this point and shoot snappy camera into a night vision infrared camera. Now you may or may not know that very recently I've taken up astronomy and that essentially means standing in very dark places looking at the sky with a telescope. Now I would really like to make videos, you know, video logs and things while I'm doing that but unfortunately I don't have a camera that films in the dark. Now I've been looking into my options and it turns out that you can turn or convert a little snappy camera, uh, pretty much any kind of camera of this sort of configuration, uh, into an infrared viewing camera. And then all you need is an infrared light source uh, for that camera to pick up the light. Now this is uh, quite an old camera, it's my sister's old camera, she's just got a new one for Christmas and I managed to scrounge this one off her because basically what happens is a lot of people they'll have a camera for a number of years uh, and then they'll upgrade and then normally their old cameras will end up in the bottom drawer. Well those cameras gathering dust in the bottom drawer are absolutely ideal uh, for this kind of a conversion. Now I have to say from the start I've never actually done this before um, but if you're seeing this video then it's worked because obviously if this doesn't work you're not going to see the video. So um, it's good news, it worked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom right in and I'll try to talk you through it as I'm doing it. Okay I'm going to do my best to keep everything in shot. It may fall in and out of focus um, from time to time but I will try to make sure everything is focused for all the important bits. So the first thing we need to do is take out the battery. I think the only tools I'm going to need for this are a set of watch screwdrivers. I've got some little tiny ones here and perhaps some tweezers. And uh, hopefully we can get away with just that, but uh, we'll see. Now, you need to take a visual look at uh, everything just to see where uh, things are done up. I see there's several small hidden screws here that I'm going to need to undo. Uh, obviously depending on which camera you've got uh, you're going to have to make a judgment accordingly but at the moment I'm just sort of thinking anything with a, a screw on it that I'm going to undo. So these are tiny tiny little screws so I'm going to have to make sure that they're kept somewhere safe. So I'm just going to unscrew everything all the way around where there are screws. Okay, so I've basically gone around the edge and I've just taken out any of the small screws that uh, are visible. So now I'm just going to attempt to see whether the back will come off. Okay, all right, so that's the back plate that's just come off. Right, now I've got to look into getting this uh, screen off. Okay, it looks like this outer bevel wants to come off as well. There's a couple of screws that are holding the screen in place. So I'll undo those. I can see a little ribbon cable there. Uh, hopefully you can see that. There's a little rib ribbon cable from the screen plugged in there. That's going to have to come out. So I'm just going to grab the ribbon and pull up. There we go. And that's the, ri that's the ribbon cable out. Now let's see whether this screen will loosen up. It looks like the screen is held in with a screw that's that's screwed in from that way. So I may need to take the front plate off after all. Let's see if it'll come off without too much of a fuss. Hopefully it'll just pop off. It's only like a plastic cover. Right, there we go. That's the front plate off as well. And oh, this little bevel's coming off now. That's good. So I've got this little little bevel piece come off too. Okay, this screen wants to come up, but it's it's still plugged in. I see a ribbon cable. Ah, here we go. Right, what I've just noticed is this, this screen, it has a ribbon cable that runs down here and then along the back, and that's plugged in there. So I think that's going to have to come out. Okay, there's in that little plug that uh, this ribbon cable is plugged into. There's like a little black bar across there. I've already snapped half of it away, um, but you need to lever that out. Uh, I think that's holding the ribbon cable in place. So there we go. That's now out. And then hopefully the ribbon cable 
is going to come out of its own accord now. There we go. That's the ribbon cable out. I can see this ribbon is on a bit of double-sided tape stuck to another ribbon. So I need to prise that apart very, very carefully. Just very, very gradually teasing it apart. So once I prise that apart, I'm hoping that this back screen is going to come off now. So there we go, that's the LCD screen from the camera and you can see the two little ribbon cables, uh, one there and one there. So next up is the sensor. So hopefully you can see that. Uh, I presume this is going to be the sensor and there are a couple of little screws, one, two, three screws holding it into place and they look like they've got a little bit of melted plastic on them or a little bit of black glue or something holding them in place. So I need to get rid of that glue so that they will turn. Okay, I think I've got most of the glue off now of these three screws. Uh, they're a strange looking screw. I'm not sure whether a conventional screwdriver is going to undo them. I shall have a go. Uh, it seems to be biting, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just using a really tiny flat head screwdriver and uh, that seems to be doing the job. So there's one off the sensor. Okay, so that's the three screws, the three little screws undone of the main sensor. So now it should hopefully be a case of just popping the sensor up uh, it would be nice if it's that simple. I've got a feeling it might not be quite that simple, but we'll have a go. And I'm just going to get the screwdriver in there and just, there we go, lever it up. There's a little guide thing here. Now you've got to be really careful of the sensor because this is the, uh, the business end of the camera. This is the bit that actually creates the image. Right, let's get some tweezers on there. Okay, so there is the sensor. Oops, you don't, we don't want to be touching that. Uh, this, this is going to be the important bit. So the infrared filter, hopefully you can see it just there. It's kind of got a reddish tinge to it. That's what's stopping the infrared hitting the sensor, which is that. So I need to take this infrared filter out. And the way I'm going to do that is there's a, a, like, um, and this is this is fairly typical of most of these cameras. There's a little spring there. I'm not quite sure where that's come from. Um, I'm going to have to pick that up. Right now, in some cameras, these have like a rubber bevel around the outside. This particular one doesn't seem to. I think it might just pop out. So I'm going to try to just give it a little bit, bit of persuading. Ah, there we go. And it just popped out. You see that? Hopefully that is the infrared uh, filter and that's just popped out of uh, the camera. So let's just get rid of that. And now that's all fixed. We can put everything back together again and it should work beautifully. So that's it. The camera is back together again and it all seems to be working quite well. Uh, that is the piece I removed. This is just this tiny little uh, infrared filter that was just in front of the main sensor and uh, because I've now removed that the sensor is picking up uh, infrared light. This is like now an infrared camera which will see in the dark as long as you've got some sort of infrared illumination. So I got an infrared illuminator and uh, basically this whole rig can sit on a tripod somewhere and uh, it's all run off 12 volts. So uh, this plugs into a 12 volt source and that will uh, pilot or will power the, uh, the illuminator. And then you've got a USB thing here and that will power the camera. It's recording, right. Am I on? You are. I'm very, very bright. Really? How about <laughs> yeah. back here? 
Yeah, very bright. Cool. Yeah, it comes okay. out really well. Right, so we've got the infrared camera on. I'm very impressed with this camera actually. <laughs> <laughs> this infrared, this works really well because I can't, I can't see you hardly really? at all. This is this little camera. It's, it's only a little rubbishy old thing. It's, it's like even got in, it's in 4.3 format. It's so old. I'm curious yeah, how far. No, they can't. No, that's it. How now, far away can I get? If I cover you up, you can't see nothing. What about now? How, can you still see me? Yeah. Really? Yeah. No way. Infrared light spectrum travels a long way, doesn't it? Yeah, I still see you. Really? Yeah. Wow. So as you can see, it works beautifully. So there we go. I hope that was useful for someone. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to thumbs up and you can click here to subscribe to the channel. Here is my latest video and here is a video that you might like. And here is a factoid. Coca-Cola was originally green.